Okay, so for my first ever drawing a Pokemon slash Fakemon series, I decided to start off with one of my favorite Pokemon that were given a regional form. In fact, after regional forms were introduced, this is probably the one that I like the most, if not one of the very few that I actually really, really like. So we're going to be doing a few different versions of Ponyta. So I actually decided to go with a Kelpie, a Pegasus, and a Keating to add, you know, more variety to Ponyta's kind of family. So without further ado, let's just get into, we're going to look at the Ponyta's first that I created. For Ponyta, I wanted to start off with a basic base shape for me to draw all three of them with using the same base. So here I'm just sketching out the base and do, trying to get all the proportions right. The first outline, and then I do some more adjustments. For this first one, here's me trying to get a mane, adding some feathers on the legs. Coming up with the right kind of mane and tail wasn't too difficult for this one. And then deciding the colors were also fairly easy. That brings us to the ponytail that draws inspiration from the Kelpie. This is a water slash grass type Pokemon. This ponytail lives near lakes and other large bodies of water, and it is well known for being friendly with children. In neighboring regions, there have been rumors of a dark slash water type horse Pokemon that appeared friendly towards children, but were actually evil. News of the other Pokemon spread to regions where this ponytail were common, and it led to many people hunting them to protect their families. In fact, these Pokemon were so overhunted, the tales and legends of them date back to the 5th century, but they weren't officially recorded in the Pokedex until about 500 years ago due to lack of information and specimens for research. These ponytail love to play near water, but they are unable to swim like their evolutions. I do use the same I do use the same base shape for all three of the ponyta because I don't want to have to redraw the base shape over and over again. I went through a couple of wing designs before deciding one that I was happy with, and then a couple of tail and mane designs, or mostly tail designs, until I decided to use uh, Fluttershy from My Little Pony. I used her mane and tail for the inspiration on this one. When I do get to the coloring, the colors are a little bit different. Here we have the Pegasus Ponyta. This Ponyta is one of the few, if not only, species of Ponyta that are completely nocturnal. It is a ghost and flying type Pokemon. Records of this Pokemon date back to ancient history, but there is no estimate as to when this Pokemon was actually discovered. Parents in the early centuries used to use this Pokemon to scare their children by warning them that they'd be visited by the phantom horse if they didn't behave. In reality, Ponyta consumes the nightmares that its evolution brings about. Again, starting with the same base shape, this time I want to do a Kirin Ponyta, and I start off with the tail and mane. It actually takes me a bit to get both in a style that I'm happy with. I try to do this style with a little flare to the mane, I want to give it a beard, but then I end up not working out with that one. And so again, drawing inspiration from My Little Pony, I kind of used the mane from, I think, Autumn Blaze, that kind of style. And then getting the tail in the right proportions and the right style for me took a little bit, but I ended up happy, being happy with the final result. I attempt to add some feathering to the ankles and to the shoulders on the horse, and it takes me a few tries to come up with something that I'm happy with, but I end up coming up with this design on the shoulders on the horse, and it's just the one that I'm happiest with. I intend to keep both, but I end up keeping just the shoulder feathering, the shoulder and knee feathering. And then I experimented with a few different colors before deciding to go with the original that I had, so. Finally, the Keating Ponyta. This Ponyta is a dragon and fire type Pokemon. 
In ancient times, this Pokemon was beloved by ruling families and were even used on the family crest of one of the most prominent families in the region's history. Due to this Pokemon being such an important symbol to such a powerful family, hunting of the Kirin, Ponyta, and Rapidash have been illegal at least as long as records of this Pokemon have been around. Now, for Rapidash, instead of sketching out my own kind of base, I decided to go ahead and sketch over the original Rapidash because getting the Ponyta's portions gave me a headache and I didn't want to try again with Rapidash. For the first one, I already had a pretty good idea of what I wanted the main entail to look like, so I actually got it right on my first try. I didn't end up going through a bunch of different designs with this one. For the feathers, I knew that I wanted it to have seaweeds after I had gotten, mostly through sketching the four seaweeds, I ended up deciding that I wanted it to wrap around instead of just being attached to it, like, loosely, awkwardly. I started off with a black outline, remembering that I wanted to do a different color outline so that it's easier for me to erase the layer underneath it. And then the colors, I didn't play around with the colors too much, I was pretty happy with the first choices that I made. This is the Kelpie-inspired Rapidash. It is a water and grass type. In modern times, this Pokemon is known for being very nurturing and protective of those in its care. However, the overhunting of Rapidash and Ponyta in the past have led them to becoming an endangered species. Modern conservation efforts on this Pokemon look promising. This Rapidash has the ability to swim and even dive underwater. They are water protectors of lakes and other large bodies of water. Using the base from before, here we have the Pegasus evolution, which this one's actually going to end up being a Pegasus with a horn. The tail and mane were inspired by Princess Celestia from My Little Pony, mainly because I felt like it made a smooth evolution to, from Fluttershy's mane to this one. It took me a bit to get a wing shape that I was happy with. But for the most part, I am actually happy with this. Down on the legs, I actually ended up adding a pattern for, like, the pattern I got was actually from a Crown of Korea, because this is supposed to be for a Korean region that I made. And, yeah. Coming up with colors that I was happy with took a while, so I changed the colors a lot before I finally moved on to the shading. The Pegasus-inspired Rapidash is a ghost and flying-type Pokemon. This Pokemon brings nightmares to humans so that Ponyta can have something to munch on before evolving. It is believed that the more nightmares a pony can it is believed that the more nightmares a Ponyta consumes, the more vile and vicious it becomes when it evolves into this form of Rapidash. It is believed that Rapidash no longer feeds on dreams because it is powerful enough to consume the souls of people while they sleep. It's believed that if this Pokemon doesn't kill anyone, it's believed that this Pokemon doesn't kill anyone, but only lets people walk around without souls. And finally for the Keating, coming up with the mane and tail design for Rapidash was a little bit easier than doing it for Ponyta because of Ponyta I already had the idea in mind, so I just kind of carried over the same patterns and just kind of made it bigger and more flary more show-off-y. I added some extra scales onto the body, like the ones on the shoulders and the knees and under the belly. There's some on the nose. And the mustache was kind of a final touch that I was really happy with, honestly. I felt like it may have added too much detail, but I went a little overboard with this one, and I don't regret it. Coming up with feathers that I liked on the hooves took a little bit, but I was happy with the ones that I ultimately decided to go with. The dragon and fire type Keating Rapidash is a beloved Pokemon. It is believed that this Pokemon is capable of bringing wealth and prosperity to anyone who is capable of earning its trust. However, when betrayed, this Pokemon can bring pain and misfortune beyond one's belief. And so there you have it, my three Ponyta and three Rapidash that I've created. 
for some regional forms. Uh, the Galarian ponytail was based on a unicorn, and I thought I might try my hand at creating some other mythological horses from Ponyta and Rapidash, because horses are some of my favorite mythological creatures, like the mythological horses I really find fascinating. And I really just wanted to try my hand at making some regional forms of official Pokemon. So this was actually a really fun experiment for me to do, and there may be some more regional forms coming, and possibly even some more uh, mythological horses coming in the future. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you in the next one, where I'm going to be drawing original fake one, as well as reimagines, recreations, and maybe even more regional forms of other official Pokemon. So without further ado, I'm out.